new year. Yeah. Yeah. Today's topic, war tribes and cartels, the missed connection. <clears throat> I'm gonna talk to new you about it. So you, I, I, I did a post about um, federal law and Native American sovereign nations. It is set up as such so that they can still honor their legacy of their ancestors and conquer each other or be conquered. And, and um, somebody in my DM is like, well, why haven't they done that? They have to have a shaman first. And so then they were, he was like, well, I don't understand the cartels. And I was like, well, in South America, the cartels are predominantly made up of native blood. If you study the cartels, and this is something the FBI doesn't really share, it's CIA and the NSA. It's just a bunch of native children growing up with that need to conquer a tribe or conquer something. And the cartels collect them up in warring tribes. Literally, they're just collecting native, native people who have that instinctual want to fight, want to, want to do that thing. It's just in them. And they, and they join cartels. They join gangs. So like I was talking, it was like cartels. They're, they're predominantly, predominantly native blood. This is going to work. <clears throat> they're predominantly na native, native blood. Which is very interesting. This is where I have made a book. So, you, you, did that make sense to you? So, you, you're talking about um, just America's tribes in general, not just Sinaloa. All tribes. Everywhere. All tribes. Yeah. So, I, oh. so. And, and I, I, when I study this stuff, I, I think about cartels. People look at cartels and they go, oh, these people are from this region. I want to know, like, what kind of blood did they have? So, and this is my weird autism. I want to know more than most people, right? So I go, like, they, and they get a lot of people are dead in these, in these gang violence wars, right? So I go, who are all these people <laughs> willing to do all this? And they, they go, well, and the, the FBI is like, it's mostly Native Americans. It's inherent that they want to do this. They just want to, they grow up, they, they need an outlet, and the cartels know that. And there's nobody taking care of it for them. Nobody's gathering them saying, here, make your own tribe, have your own land. The cartels are exploiting that. And so, 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 so I think about that in the United States. Like we're actually set up so that people with native blood can conquer and be conquered. We honor their legacy. That's why they're sovereign. Like, we will not stop you from conquering another tribe, but, and we will not stop another tribe from conquering you. That's your roots, we promise, but it has to be on your tribal land. Right? You can't spill that over into what we call the United States anymore. It's got to be on your tribal land. So I've been pointing out lately, I'm like, hey, you know, once these, these more educated generations of, of people come through and the, these guys are like, hey, we are all – like I discovered, like you researched, like they're all tribal blood. They're all native blood. Like they're fighting for a cartel. Why don't they just get together and fight for themselves and claim a land? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's like you're making, you're making billions of dollars. It's just like you guys are fighting for a cartel leader, making him billions of dollars a year because he knows you guys want to war and, and, and conquer. And, and in reality, the laws, international laws are set up so that you could conquer a tribe like in Canada. Like you guys could have your own fucking land, but you're over there killing each other because you don't understand. And I'm like, eventually some of them are going to get smart and be like, hey, wait a minute. Do we got to kill each other? Or can we, do we got to do these drug wars or can we just go get some land like we're supposed to? You see what I'm saying? That's how they set it up. Like, don't want this carnage going on for years. We can never win against the cartel. Right? You look at the governments. They, see what I'm saying? They can't win. It's like, why can't, the, why can't a government, United States, any country win against the cartel? Like, because the kids are, they gather the blood that wants to, like, who's in the military today? Somebody who wanted to be a cook. Their genetics was like, I want to be a pasta maker. It's like, Who's in the cartel? They're like, he's a 
14th generation fucking warrior. You go, what does that mean? They're like, his great, great, great grandpappy was fucking slaying conquistadors. Like, it's just in their fucking blood. You, you get what I'm saying? I do. So this is where, are you drawing a distinction between so like native nations and uh, let's say like normal native first world, they cannot interfere with these things? Because then I ask the question, why hasn't the United States just conquered? It cut off. Did you hear me? Yeah. Why hasn't the United States? Now, yes, because the United States of America isn't native to America. So the United States, the forefathers were very specific about this. They're like, this isn't technically, we, don't, we technically, because so, they, they believe it's a thing called heaven, right? We want to get into heaven. So if we conquer them, it won't allow us to get into heaven. All religions, like if you imagine Muslims, Hebrew, just like, you know, the founding fathers, if we do this ourselves, we've already taken most of their land. If we continue, we probably won't get into heaven in real life. This is, a, you know, our founding fathers believed in, in you know, religious Let's freedom. Out, and it, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So yeah. they, they, they didn't do it all. I mean, they went pretty far, but the founding fathers, they literally like, if you pay attention to the details, the, the only reason they didn't conquer all of the tribes is because like, we don't want to go to hell. Like, I think we're on the verge. They were like, we're on the verge of, <laughs> like, we're on the doorway of hell. So then they just left it. They're like, we'll give you sovereignty. You guys can conquer each other, be conquered, do whatever you want on your own land, honor your legacy. And this is where, you've, a, and you, this this is where you said earlier, it's, it's, if somebody's smart, they would be yeah. noticing this and taking action yeah, towards that. Who's doing exactly, that? Because you think about this. Now I'm getting started because the Native American tribes went to the federal government like, we want the right to conquer land and be conquered. This is not like, uh, if you take away away from us, No, it cut off. If you take away what? Okay. Their ability to conquer and be conquered. None of their ancestors will have peace. It's part of their heritage. So the native tribes went to the federal government and said, mm. you have to allow us to be conquered and conquer. Our ancestors that have already buried cannot be kicked out of, cannot be kicked out of, like you, you'll spit in their graves. They fought it. They fought the, like you have to allow us to be conquered and, and conquer. It's our, it's our heritage. It's our ancestry. Like it, our, our, we have burial grounds. It's sacred yeah, to our, our burial. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now we're getting something like, it. yeah, you will dishonor all of our ancestors, every single one of them. And the federal government said, okay, if it means that much to you to honor your ancestors, we will allow you to be conquered or conquer, but on your own land. And so then I'm like, how did they do that? They go, well, you got to have a shaman and you have to have a war tribe of some people that are predominantly native blood. <laughs> so I'm like, How does the shaman play into this? It's because of their rituals, because just because of the Native American rituals, you have to have. It's kind of like an oracle, or, or the shaman's a like a, uh, the one who can declare war. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There, yeah, there you go. The oracle. So that you, so that, so that you honor your ancestors. So like, uh, uh, like, if you were any tribe, you can't just go to war. If your, if your shaman says no, you can't go to war. You'll just like you said, you dishonor your ancestors. If your shaman says you go to war, you got to go to war or you dishonor your ancestors. It's all about your ancestors. It ain't about me. It ain't about you. It's about the ancestors. And that's where the world is messed up today. Everybody's like, oh, us, us. I'm like, how do they? Well, because, <laughs> you know, pretty soon, it's like, it's like, eventually you're going to be the ancestor. You go, well, it's going to, what do you want them to do when you're the ancestor? You go, well, I'm shit. I'm going to want to do the right thing. And they go, that's why you're not supposed to think about yourself. You're supposed to think about how do you honor your ancestors. You should ask the tribes today. What do you want to happen to you? So, oh, I want to be able to, I, I want to be respect. I, I don't want to be disrespected like my ancestors. Like, how does that happen? <laughs> right? How does that, you got to think about them, not yourself. <laughs> well said. Yeah, you got to think about your ancestors and not yourself. What's the end game then? Like, I, the question is, who's doing this? Well, and now we get somewhere. What's the end game? Because we can't regulate now you get somewhere. We can't technically regulate sovereign nations, right? But we have it, the, the federal government and the way the sovereign nations have set it up so that eventually somebody will conquer them or they can't conquer and regulate themselves. 
right? They're giving them the authority. Look, you have the ability. Fucking con- get yourself a fucking president. Conquer your get, get it together. But they just don't. They, they, there's so much, you know, other things involved. Does that make sense? It does. There's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of, yeah. Exactly. Distractions. There you go. A lot of distractions. (laughs) Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. I'm just thinking about why, why would you, you know, why are you bringing awareness to this? Well, because I have international foster kids that I tra- saw, so, you know, uh, people ask me if I'm in the military. Absolutely not. But I did train some children from South America in the Middle East. And this knowledge on telling them, hey, you eventually might train your children and they could come over and get some women from here and you'll have land. Like I train, so, like you are saying, like, there's a, I'm a, I'm a pretty, I can heal myself pretty well, I think. I think yeah. I've done some okay things. Great job. I, I, I tra- I've trained some kids that are probably going to be a hundred times better than me. And they're not from this country. Are these the shamans? <laughs> they're not, from, not, not a single one is from the United States. But what that they did, the, 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 what they, now what they did get to watch is the FBI and some people in my community murder a lot of people to make a fake shaman or a fake seer for Courtney Hunt's children. That's so the what the international now gets them or what they because I've been doing this since I was a kid. What we got to see is the military do whatever it takes to exploit the federal government and take advantage of their own citizens. Whatever, there's no, they have no fucking morals, none whatsoever. They live, I mean, they fucking live stream. She telling me we went to school together and shit. <laughs> like I live streamed her in her fucking bathroom taking her fucking clothes off, talking to me. And so I was like, I'm a, I have a traumatic brain injury. She's fuck, like fucking crazy. This is a fucking U.S. military, and the, the, the authority set this shit up. They sent me, I fucking live streamed. They fucking sent me a marriage license from her saying I was married to Courtney. That's why she had my stuff. It wasn't extortion. So I was like, this is fucking, no, they're like, no, you used to be married to her. Your wife, Heather's not your real wife. You've had traumatic brain injury. That, they told me my wife I have now is not my real wife. Courtney was my wife. And they let the, they let the, the, the children from the international foster go, see this like, they're doing to, this to him because he won't let them kill you. This is my kids. Like, why are they torturing Martin? Because he won't let them kill us. Why not allow Courtney Hunt to do this shit to him and, and, and his neighbor, Jerry? Because Martin won't let them kill us. It's him or us. And you'll come back. Hopefully not. <laughs> you play sucks. But yeah. <laughs> It's, I think about that. It's fucking like me or them. Ground. It's me or the them. suffering makes us better. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it, I'm not. <laughs> no, but just something to think about, right? <laughs> Besides, I'm like, you know, it's kids from South America. So you brought kids from, you brought kids that are going back to cartels with pigs. Like, look at, look at I got from the Airborne Rangers. This is a fucking Airborne Ranger having sex with animals. Here's the chain of command. Ordering, literally, I got listen to the audio. They're ordering people to be killed so this person can be made Airborne Ranger of the Year. It's all, they're going to make him Airborne Ranger of the Year, like in five years. you imagine the fucking cartel following that shit? It's now my good kids, they, they come here. Look, look at this fucking shit. This is the FBI. They sat there, the FBI. They're shoving. Look at the FBI dumping people in, bon- in barrels, bodies in Barrels. It's on video. Here we go. <laughs> I got to get off my wife. Oh, she doesn't like me talking about, about this stuff, but she doesn't understand. That's the only way we're... I've gotten better because of talking about it because they got to slow down. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're here. We're here for exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. You guys are here for it. Now, look at this. <laughs> Amazing. This is a, why you guys are here for it now. I used to go to digestive, uh, Northwest Digestive uh, place here because I had um, Crohn's and severe hereditary bowel disorders. And I was like, now that I got you guys here for me and, and, and here for me and I'm talking about this stuff, the military hasn't been living with me and I haven't been being raped 
and my my hereditary bowel disorder got went away. <laughs> you know, wow, crazy it's as if you never had it. <laughs> 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 I gotta get off. Bye. Be well.